clean this box. We can we can find the bone. This is a and they call a Spanish market. We we uh, we kind of use you you saw the the step and they uh, they you and you sashimi cut it and you torch that and we, no you marry like we saw salt you, and and peel get sweating like estimate probably ten minutes so uh, and you torch it. And skin part, like not belly part, like a uh, uh, the fat loin. Like it's, you need to torch more because uh, that skin is tough. So you you torch a little bit longer. And the uh, belly part is just like belly part, belly is white color. Then one is very soft. You don't need a heavy. So just light torch. The ice, ice water and drop the ice water and probably for five minutes and drop down the temperature as soon as possible. And then you take out the water and dry it. And uh, uh, and we have the same size ginger and green onion. Green onion we already dry it and get the juice out so it's not a strong flavor so you not don't worry about how to clean your your your, your mouth and get smell out so in the fresh water and tanju sauce like tanju you citrus vinegar so make perfect balance so good combination even like macros worry you know like it's so easy to get that when they're not Get that fresh, it smells so bad and turn the meat so quick. So that's reason like a lot of people don't like macro here. But when you can handle right things, you know, keep in good temperature and keep it really nice. It's it's like a amazing dish. Anything pretty much. Yeah, plenty of stuff. Yeah, now I know how to keep up with your next stuff. <laughs> Wasabi paste? Yes. Yeah, uh, almost. You just 
YouTube channel. So you what? come in Soga for this stuff, or you so you are a restaurant, they give you sashimi, you come here, right? you know? Those two same items. So for some restaurant, you can sell for three dollar. The people want to pay for four dollar for this. Marco, Spanish knife, sear yeah. Spanish knife, yeah. torch, torch, torch. Chef. Okay, serious. <laughs> okay, this is she. That is really amazing. Yeah, right. I was really having a lot of hard time keeping up with him in the kitchen because it's so fast. There are a lot of steps in making sushi. Yeah, it would be the sashimi. Yeah. And so it's just really hard keeping up with him tonight. But so how typical? So you eat the flour too? <laughs> I didn't know that people yeah, ate the flour. Yeah, edible flour. Not bad. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I like it. So I like it. I like it. Where did you first learn to start doing sushi? Or uh, what's the proper term for it? Yeah. Uh, uh, first time, you know, I live I, like probably 25 years ago. I moved to uh, New York. And then uh, my brother is a kitchen chef, so he. He invited me to uh, get the, the the restaurant. He walked walk over there like in Manhattan, and then, uh, and first time I tried Japanese food. You know, <laughs> amazing seaweed salad and a new experience. Or sashimi, raw fish. I can use all kind of food easy. You know, I eat all kind of Italian pizza, hot dog, everything. I mean, I really like the taste and for the three step the chef, they working, you know, like out of work. So I'm starting them in sushi. And uh, it took me probably like, you know, actually in, in, in Japan, when you try to be a chef, sushi chef, you have to stay kitchen or sushi have for three, four years and they get the chance that you catch fish. So <laughs> I am, you know, a different one. I, I want to do everything like quick and normal. Yeah. So every time, you know, out, out of war, I bring the loop, su sushi rice, sushi rice home. I walk from Manhattan to my to my uh, apartment. So I'm starting to cut this and cutting cucumber in my apartment. So that's how I can learn it thing quick than other people. I even buy the buy the like a pan to fry pan fry the egg. You know <laughs> not other people do that. Not like so, so you would work, work and then you would go home and work. Yeah go home work and plastic and then and then cut the cucumber and make flour and everything. You know we don't use slicer we everything how to handmade like a like a radish. So we and what, what was this again? Radish that come. Thanks again for having us Thank you. Thank Come you. to your restaurant. Thank you. Thank you for uh, supporting my business for I've nearly eaten, 20 years. I've, I've eaten here a long time. Yeah. 20 yeah. years. Thank you. Thank you. Been here, yeah. Almost 20 years. And he is one of the best sushi chefs that I know. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm pretty well traveled. Yeah. I've traveled all over North America and the best sushi I've ever had is right here in Greenville, North Carolina at Shogun. Yeah, a lot of people ask me why Leo don't go to a big city and get a better opportunity making money. So for me, you know, I'm scared of that. That's uh, so gonna be my last restaurant. I'm not gonna move anywhere. And I like the people in Greenville. We make so many friends here. And earn so many, a lot of respect. Everybody, you know, when you move to the new city, nobody knows you. Yeah, nobody cares about you. you yeah, they will say, hi, Leo. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> you, you need to earn that, that people respect. Around you know, Greenville, you know. North Carolina, he's like yeah. a small town celebrity. <laughs> small town. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Um, make sure you subscribe to Wildfire. And if you're around <laughs> Greenville, stop in the show. Okay, let's go.